April 11th. Um, <clears throat> I want to give another mention here to you guys today. This will probably be my last video today, and then I'm going to probably watch some YouTube clips. Um, I was just watching this one guy from about a year and a half ago where he prophesied what I've been saying um, about the things that I've been seeing. And, uh, but the way he said it is exactly how I've been saying it is today. And I mean, I felt it and I look around and I see it in such a way, um, it's only escalated, okay, to a large scale. And this is why I want to, uh, stress this out to many people right now. Um, I've seen where people would be walking down the aisle and they'd twitch their face and spit their tongue out, and they'd get snake-like eyes. Well, I've literally seen this happen in front of me a couple of times, and they directed it at me to make sure I seen this. They were letting me know when they were trying to bribe me with money to uh, speak less about Jesus Christ. You know, they didn't, they didn't like me talking about this. And they said I showed this photo too much. But you notice how there's a clock right there with the white horse and a bathtub? Then I'm doing a crucifix. And there's an angel blowing a trumpet above my head. Well, you've heard me say that, you know, I feel I'm finished. You know, I've done everything I can do. But uh, I'm going to stress this again. Because this is, it's very, very important that you know this. I've had people coming on my channel in the last few days. Oh, we'll pray for you to get a job. You know, we'll get you work, you know, you'll be doing okay. Get you back into an apartment and everything. Listen, there's a lot of demons that are hosting people right now. And I've said it and I'll say it again. Only a demonic person with the evil that's in this world today. And that trumpet, there's a reason why it's blowing a trumpet above my head, okay? The reason why there's a trumpet above my head with an angel there. Clock, white horse, and a bathtub. Okay, the reason why that's there, I didn't get this photo until 2014. I took it in 77. 7 plus 7 is 14. Okay, the reason why I didn't get it till now, and the reason why I'm posting it now, is because the end is upon us right now. We're getting ready to go. And a lot of people out there that were prophesizing on what's coming and whatnot, this should be a confirmation to them as well. Um... That angel wouldn't be blowing a trumpet above my head if what I wasn't saying wasn't the truth. I've got no reason to lie to you. Um, what's going to happen, they're, they're all over right now. I mean, the Lord's permitted that. These, I've seen demons going like, look, look, you know. Oh, man, look, you know, like, wow, look at this, you know. Unreal. Look at what we got. We're going to get ready to do. They were loving it. I've seen this. Okay. And then other people were sitting there in their trucks going, yeah. And then they'd spit their tongue out like, yeah. You know, and these were people that they hosted. i seen this while driving down the street looking at things. I have the gift of sight. And i seen this as they were coming out. It's like a floodgate. And it's not just America. You remember how I said the whole world is going to experience this. And then Revelations 3, how it says, You did not deny my name. And I'm going to spare you the moment of trial that's coming upon this whole world. And that's about what's getting ready to happen. We're getting ready to go. And this message is going to be for the wise because, you know, Jesus knows the foolish. They're not going to get it. They're going to, you know, they're already mocking me right now, I'm sure. But, uh, they're going to probably see this message. But these demons are going to be on the whole world. And right now, I've seen them where they're everywhere. I went by showing this photo to people just yesterday. And uh, they had tattoos behind their ears, you know. And a lot of them, they, make, they turn their head enough for me to see it. And that's to let me know, you know, I'm preaching to the choir. They're there. They, you know, they let me know they're there. They're already there. They're not going to go spitting their tongue out. and They're already in the bodies. There's a lot of them. They're everywhere. Um, it's unbelievable. But uh, 
this is the time to be on your toes, man. And we need to be, you know, going, Jesus, I'm ready. Please find me worthy to take me, you know, Lord, please. And uh, because he's coming for us. We're going to be going any time now. This is the time to be sharp on your toes. Get you, you know, stay focused, okay? Because they're all around us. The Holy Spirit's holding them back right now, okay? Right now, the Holy Spirit is holding them back. And they can't do nothing, I guarantee you. If God knows what's in the minds and hearts of everybody, okay, and he can hold back, even in their minds, they're not going to do nothing until he lets them. He's the Lord of hosts, okay? That's what it says in the Holy Bible. I tried talking to the people in the churches, you know, at a Bible study. And they were going, oh, I wonder when Jesus was born, and I, I ruined that little party. I said, he's eternal, you know, and they said, well, I guess we won't be talking about that no more. And I said, why don't we discuss something like, uh, Jesus Christ said, I'm Lord of hosts. What's a host? You know, they didn't want to talk about that. You know, see, the thing is, in your churches, you guys have been misled for a long time. Haven't even talked about Revelation. And then when they want to read 3.16, you know, Jesus died for you, you're saved. You know, that's all you got to do is believe and you're saved. Let me tell you something. He said, if you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out. And then uh, you're going to go through the great tribulations. I've been warning people for a long time, man. I'm far from lukewarm. I've had people offer me job opportunities, man, before I really seen exactly what was going on. But I had a, a feeling that this was evil, you know, because, uh, number one, you know, my football coach coming out of nowhere. I hadn't seen him since I was 14 years old. And all of a sudden he's sitting at a game next to me, you know, 40 years later. Come on now, something's not right here, you know. How does somebody like that come out of the woodwork here and then offers me 60 grand a year to work in a football stadium? And I looked at him and I said, man, I said, these games are over. I said, it's finished here. You know, and they're mocking the, my Lord Jesus Christ, you know. Um, I never went to church or nothing like that, but I've always had a strong love for the Lord, always. And I guess that's in my spirit. Um, I didn't really too much care for the churches because I always felt like they, you know, like they were always like better, you know, like they just weren't, they weren't too warm, you know, and it was just different. There's something about it. I don't know what, I can't explain it. I just didn't feel, you know, I'm more like, uh, um, I like to, uh, share with people and talk with people on a personal you know, I'm personal, you know, I know I'm not better than, and Jesus said that too, if you think, you know, a master's not better than a slave, and a slave's not better than his master, you know, we're the same, you know, and that's how I am, I'm personal, you know, and when I'm talking with people that think that they're better than me, they know more than me, then I feel separated from them, and if I feel separated from them, I don't, you know, it doesn't feel right, and it probably ain't right. If it don't feel right, it probably ain't right, you know? But anyhow, um, and sure enough, look at how it turned out, you know? But anyhow, what I'm trying to tell you is right now, these demons are so thick. If you only knew, they're around you all over the place, and they're hosting and people. You, My own family won't even talk to me, man. And I know why. It's because they got demons hosting them. You know, it's how they live their life. You know, and I pray for them still. I actually pray for them and I tell them. I sent them some stuff last night saying, be strong, be strong, man. If you get left behind because of something, you got a demon hosting you right now, just be strong, man. And uh, don't deny his name. Don't deny the Lord's name. You know, they're going to they're gonna probably have to go through the great tribulations and stuff like that. But don't be afraid of death, you know, because death is certain. It's coming for everybody. And Jesus said, if you try to save your life, you lose your life. And see, I don't care. I've, I've, Jesus knows. I've been going. I've been having things coming against me for a long time now. I ain't got no fear, you know, not even the government. And I know they can see me on this YouTube. You don't see me hiding this face, do you? I'm not hiding. People see me. And let me tell you something, man. When I'm out in public... You don't think they don't recognize me? Huh? 
I guarantee you they do. You don't see a lot of people with a hat like this walking around. You don't. I stand out. But I don't stand out like a sore thumb. I stand out like I love the Lord Jesus Christ and everybody knows it. But you know what? They don't come near me because I've got a lot of angels watching over me. Protecting me. You know? I've also seen that. Where people tried coming up against me. And they got hurt, man. Big time hurt. You know? But what I want to tell you is there's a lot of people out there that are on the YouTube channels that are preaching the word or whatever. Nobody's been helping me get this out. Okay? Now, if they ain't helping me get this out, you can be sure this is the final call. And when you see that next event that comes up, you might hear the next trumpet coming up, but you're going to also see me with the Lord. You will see me with the Lord. And all those, there's a lot of people out there, man. I'm telling you, man. They might talk the talk a little bit and stuff like that, but they're, they're far from doing the Word of God. You know? Because I've told you already, nobody's reached out to help me to get this out. Nobody. And there's a good reason for it. I've had people say they don't like seeing it. I show it too much. You know, and that makes me show it even more. But what I'm trying to tell you is the demons are so thick and heavy around us right now, man. That's because we're getting ready to go. It's all over the whole globe right now. All over the world, man. And the Lord's lit them out of the pits. That's why you see all these sinkholes. These big holes opening up and stuff everywhere. That's where the demons. And you notice how it's all around the world. And they were all here in hell, being held back. And now they're getting out of the pits of hell right now. And they're hosting people, literally just hosting people. They've been doing it for a long time now, uh, since the Pope went to Washington. You know, they've been coming out. Now it's like full, thick and heavy, man. They're everywhere. I notice it just walking into the store, people, when they see me, you know. It's like they know me, you know. And, uh... Yeah, the Lord knows me too. And I believe, you know, right now, I don't even know who I am. I've had people say, who are you, man? You know, because I felt like I was born into this world. And I just say, well, I'm a messenger, man. And they'd say, yeah, but who are you? I said, I am who the Lord says that I am. I am. Okay? That's the only thing I can answer to that. I don't even have a clue, man. I only know that what my mother told me. There was angels standing over my crib when she brought me home from the hospital. I never really believed it too much, you know. I thought maybe she had a dream or something. But then she always used to tell me all through my whole life, Mark, I think there's something special about you. You know, there's something special about you. She told me that my entire life. And she passed away when I got this photo. She had this photo in a drawer at home. Nobody's seen it until after she passed away. My sister Hope sent it to me. And everything happens according to the time that the Lord wants it to happen. And uh, these demons are everywhere, man. I mean everywhere. It's unbelievable. But they're everywhere. And they're thick and heavy, man. I'm telling you, we're getting ready to go home. It's why other people are saying they're getting ready to close their channels down because it's demonic everywhere, man. They're hosting people everywhere, even your own family. If you don't believe me, read what it says in the Bible. Brother will turn against mother, mother against father, father against daughter. It's going to be family, everybody against everybody. That's because they're, it's all a, they're trying to destroy flesh. America is going to be destroyed by violence, but so is the whole world. And it's evil. And the demons, it's always been from the beginning they did not like the fact that God created us in his image and they did not like the fact that we were going to inherit into the kingdom of heaven they didn't like that you know, they didn't want nothing to do with it, and that's why they're out to destroy all the people they can destroy now Their host, but why do you think they're trying to get you to sin to do uh, horrible things to do what everybody else is doing when I shared in my vision, everybody going in the same direction, that's what the Lord, the devil wants you to do that. So that way they can cast you into the pits of hell. Trust me. They're thick. They're all around us right now, man. They're so thick you wouldn't even believe it, man. 
this is where I'm telling you, you need to, uh, you need to get ready for, uh, um, we're finished here. You know, it's going to happen anytime. The Lord let them out. You know, because if your heart's not in Christ, I've heard people say, well, I still got to go out and save somebody, you know. No, Jesus Christ did that. You know, you can't save nobody. You know, all we can do is warn people and bring them into the light, let them know what time it is. You know, it's time, you know. And, uh, and he also said he's going to harden the hearts and minds of a lot of people because they love the lies. And I told you how my business, when I was bid, when people were bidding to do the jobs, I was giving them their true price, and they, and they treated me like I was a liar, and they hired the ones that were lying. And it says in the end times, that's how it would be. And seven years later, people would sit there and say, well, they don't even last anymore. Jobs are so shitty. And I'd say, that's because you guys aren't listening. You know? I'm telling you the truth. I have letters of recommendations from Hurricane Andrew. People that I did years before, they said how great my work was. And do you think they listened to it? No. I've had people that tried to hire me to do their children's homes. And <laughs> I'd go to do their homes, and their kids would try to do the prep. You know, and they'd caulk on loose caulking. I'd say, oh, man, you know, because they tried to get the prices cheaper. And I said, you've made it worse. You know, because now i got a power wash, and that caulking is going gonna to be a mess. You know, you made a bigger mess, and they didn't want to pay for nothing. Then they'd say, oh, you got a power washer? You know, look, can I use your power washer? You know, and they'd end up, and I'd say, look, I ain't messing with it. And they'd get mad at me. Well, why didn't you do my son's house? I said, because your son didn't want to pay me. He took the money you gave him, and he figured he could do the prep himself. You know, that was the greed, you know, people trying to cut me down, you know. And, uh. People doing things that are just not too smart, you know, and that today it's, that's exactly how it is. Remember I told you they, I had a dream about people trying to get you to do what everybody else is doing? Well, people trying to get me to go to work for some of these people that are lying and cheating. Man, if I, I know, and I know it's wrong what they're doing, you know, I've already seen it. I've worked a couple of days for one guy painting over loose caulk, or caulking over loose caulk, thick pieces of loose caulk too. It was cracked on both sides of it. Just hang in there. And they didn't even want you to remove it. Just caulk over it. Caulk over it. Don't clean it. Just caulk over it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, this is horrible. And uh, it's just horrible what people are doing. But we've arrived, man. That's what I've been trying to tell you, man. Every place I've been going, I still show that picture. And I'll probably do it today still. But I'm telling you, every place I go, it's like it's dead. It's dead. I'm showing it to demons everywhere. Everywhere. I mean everywhere. They're everywhere. They're hosting the people everywhere. They're in children that are of accountable age. They're everywhere. Um, just get ready. You know? This is why I told you to step back out of it. I said if you're doing what everybody else is doing, you better step out of it while you got a chance. And, and start looking around and you'll see it. I've seen it even in old people, old people, and they'd walk away from me like they didn't want nothing to do with me, you know, because they got the demons in them. They'd say, oh, do you work painting churches? I said, no, churches don't hire me. They don't hire me. Actually, they shun me, you know. That's because they've been taken over. They don't want me around their flock. They've got many people in there. They're trying to take them to hell. You know, but anyhow, get ready, man. It's fully demonic right now. That's what I'm trying to tell people. That's why I said, I'm, this is it, you know. I mean, what else can I tell you? You know, I could show that picture so much, you know, this, you know, this is it. We're getting ready to go. Whoever sees this, just know this, man. Everybody else is saying the same thing, confirming around me, man. It's going to be late this month, next month. We're getting ready to go. It's over here. You know, the 50th Super Bowl, they knew this was the time. There's a countdown. They knew this was the, the year. Have you ever seen those pickup trucks, 4 by 4s where it says 4 by 4 4 times 4 Well, 44 is Obama's number, right? Then if you go 4 times 4 is what? 16? 
This is 2016. And if you look at that 50 yard line, uh, there's 49 yards on each side, ain't there? Jesus said, I'm going to separate the sheep from the goats. This is it. There's nothing more I can tell you, you know? Yeah, I wish I could say, you know, hey, we're making a comeback, man. Got my business. People are doing what's right. But they're not. That ain't what it says in the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible clearly says this is it. And I'm trying to tell you right now, it's fully demonic here, man. It ain't just kind of semi-demonic. It's fully demonic. And these are hosting people. Those that are left behind, and when the Holy Spirit removes his hand of protection, man, it's going to be wicked. They're gonna, it's going to be a horrible day. I mean, a horrible day. I, I hope, I don't even want to look back on it and see it. But I think we will. I think we're going to be able to look back and see it. Um, it's going to be a horrible day. Just uh, only thing I can say is those you know that that believe and that are aware know that what I'm saying is true. It's fully demonic. They're everywhere. I've had a lady from Australia on here telling me how her neighbor threw a dead fish on her porch or something, and uh, they're laughing at him all the time. You know. They're everywhere, man. You know what I mean? They're all over the place. They got all of, they're working everywhere. They're doing everything. I mean, evil is full blast, full tilt right now. Only thing I can tell you, man, is uh, just get ready to go. Be focused on our Lord Jesus Christ. Know that we did, you know, as best as we could. I'm still showing that photo, you know, but, you know, it's like, I got to be selective. I can look at people and see, you know, some people just don't want to see it. You know, they're so into their life. Like the other day I had a lady from a church. She goes, I go to church. I'm saved. You know, and then had a smile on her face and just walked away. You know, in other words, well, if you were saved, you'd think you'd want to share with me a little bit here, you know, instead of, that's what you call lukewarm and selfish. I'm taking the time to try to talk to them, and they, you know, they're better than, you know. I've taken the time to talk, share with a lot of people, man, and they don't, you know. Look at where I'm at. I'm still in the front seat of my truck, ain't I? You see what I'm saying? This is an evil world we're in, man. Get ready, man. God bless these, man. Remember, there's power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But for those that get left behind... When he says they're going to call on him, Lord, Lord, but he's not going to answer him. And all these people that sit there and thought that they were blessed and all that stuff because of all their wealth, they're going to, it's going to be a rude awakening for them. You know, they're going to be, you know, they, this is where their faith is either going to shine because they're going to know he came and got a lot of us out of here, you know, but not as many as they should have been. Because when a place where I seen in a vision where I was going to get my feet cleaned, I was looking around, man. These were large, large rows and rows of benches were like made out of marble where people could have had been in there having their feet cleaned, but wasn't as many people as there should have been, you know, there, what there could have been. You know, but like I said, this is the kingdom of heaven. This place has been around forever. And, uh, it's probably going to be around for a lot longer, you know, forever and ever and ever. Amen. And uh, those same benches will be used over and over and over. And hopefully one day we'll get those benches full. Because the kingdom of heaven goes on and on and on forever and ever. Amen. Okay, God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. And remember there's power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Holy Spirit is with us now. And, uh... Once we leave, it's it's going to be wicked for a lot of people, even a lot of my own family members. They they don't even talk to me, and I know why, you know. But I I still sent them a video, and I told them I'd pray for them, and and I told them that you know, if, you know, those left behind, to be strong, you know, don't fear death because death is certain here. God bless you.